Hi everybody, I'm back. Um, it's been probably well over a year since I've done any YouTube videos. Um, there's been lots of reasons for that. I've had a really, really bad year, but I'm not going to go into that. It's a fresh start, it's a new me, and um, I've been doing lots of blogging, lots of um, Instagram pictures for you all to see that everyone's been liking, and I'm going to start um, doing lots more fashion and beauty videos um, as requested. So today I'm going to talk about about, um, like fashion essentials for autumn winter 2013 because there's so many nice things out and um, like the cheaper places like Primark, Georgia, Asda, Select, um, all the other supermarkets um, have just got some great fashion fixes at the moment and um, really really cheap and they're great if it's not like a timeless classic piece of clothing so for example I'll always fork out on an expensive pair of boots or a coat or things that you're going to wear season after season and um, year after year whereas trends and um, you know the odd £10 here and there is the way forward I think so um my spare room um where I've been well I've always done my videos in here uh, but I now have see if I can move the camera um a nice little um aside from my what have I got three double wardrobes full of clothes Um, a nice little one here so that I can fill it with clothes to show you in my haul videos Um, so I've got too many things to talk about and I want to make this a fairly quick video so I'm just going to talk quickly about some of the key things that I've been wearing now most of these are jackets and cardigans Um, so I'm going to start with those I think so um. The thing that I've been wearing loads recently is this cape and it was from a little boutique in a village near me. However, I've seen the same one in Dorothy Perkins. It's by Feverfish and it's about £30 in Dorothy Perkins and I absolutely adore it. Um, I never ever used to wear blues or navies um, and this season I've really got into it. Maybe it's because I've dyed my hair blue black my nails navy I don't know but I'm loving it um so this is great just to throw on um with any outfit to be honest looks great with skirts dresses my favorite is with um either really tight black leggings or the wax coated jeans loving those at the moment so it's really nice it's got a little tie and yeah absolutely brilliant to throw on um all the other jackets I have are from a selection from uh, either Primark, this one's Primark, this was about £8 with the pretend leather or, um, well I'll, I'll show you all my Primark ones first I've got, this is really really thin so it's more sort of for the office and you'd, you'd wear a coat over it as well um, but the, they're really easy to wear, they fit really nicely like there's no shoulder pads or padding or anything, they're just really lovely and I've got that in a few colours, um, such as this and black and navy and whatnot, and the nude pink, which I've always loved, and a white one, which I haven't actually dared to wear yet. So I think I might have gone a little bit out of season for that, but I might brave it with um, probably some dark jeans or something. Um, and the other Primark one that I'm loving is this bright orange one here, clashes a bit with my coral wall, um, which is great for a night out. So what you'd do with this is you'd wear like complete toned down colours with it. So you'd wear like, um, I'd probably wear this with like a navy little vest and some tight navy wax coated jeans or jeggings. Um, or perhaps with a nice black dress and black tights so it's a really nice wow colour another Primark favourite which was £10 what a bargain um, is this sort of fake barber I suppose um, I really like it because it's just it's great for weekends if you're just popping out for an hour or so and you don't want to get too wrapped up it's very warm actually I'm surprisingly warm for the price and it was the colour that I liked more than anything and um, it's got cute little pockets and this was a size I think it was a six yeah which I'm not a six at all especially with my boobs and um, 
but it's so fitted. I'll try it on, in fact, rather than just uh, go on about it, I'll show you what it looks like. Um, it's really, really fitted. It just looks fab. The zip it up. You can tell I'm out of practice with these videos. I've not planned what I'm saying or anything. So yeah, it's just a really nice sort of cute fitted snuggly jacket. Um, on to cardigans next. Let's do those. This is another great Primark buy. I should have called this a Primark haul. This is, I'm absolutely loving leather, well pretend leather, pleather, plastic leather this season. And this cardigan's great. It doesn't look fantastic with these puffy shoulders um, but this is like um, a dark claret sort of wine berry colour with the black sleeves and it's very sort of boxy like all these um, almost manly cuts are in they don't necessarily always suit me so this is the only thing I've got in this sort of fashion um, because it just drowns me um, the way I would wear this is with everything else would be really really tight so it can show my figure um, but this yeah it's just a nice sort of um, autumnal colour really um, just trying to think what else I can show you fur let's go into fur I am loving the fur always have done as you know um, so this coat was bought from where did I get this Primark was a surprise um, this was about three or four years ago now um, and I just adore it. It's warm, it's comfortable, the colour is just perfect for me. Uh, it just goes with everything. It looks really classy. Absolutely adore it. So I bought that quite a few years ago and wear it every year. I've then got a couple of delays that I absolutely adore. This is a similar colour. It's sort of muted. These are just great to throw on with any sort of plain jumper or plain blouse and jeans. Um, let me just move the camera out a little bit. Um, because they just add a little bit of class, I think, if I'm honest. And they just, look how much they change an outfit. Pull my jeans up. So this is like just a nice, like plain uh, baby pink jumper. But then when you put this on, sort my puffy sleeves out um, it just instantly updates it, it makes it look cosy and wintry and with a little bit of heels on it's just really really lovely and the other one which was from Georgia Tazda in the sale for £8 which is oh it's stuck um, a baby pink colour and I ummed and ahmed about this because I thought this was last year and I thought, oh, I'm really not sure whether I'm going to wear pink. I love it, but it's a little bit garish. I am so glad I bought this bargain because, as you know now, pink is the colour of the season. Baby pinks, nudes, powder pinks. It's got a nice little tie and also a really nice baby pink suede tie there so you can get a real fitted effect. Um, I wouldn't wear this with the same tone colours. I tend to wear this with black, navy, those sorts of colours, um, but it's just so cosy, the colour, come close and you can see the detail. So it's just a really beautiful, like, baby pink colour. So yeah, I'm loving the furs, and if you're, if, if they're a bit much for you, let me just throw these over there, if you feel that they're a bit too adventurous, then I'd say just go for a little scarf. For example, Primark have this at the moment and it's four pounds and it's the same colour baby pink and it's got little fasten there doesn't help having massive nails probably not wearing the best jumper to show these things um, and can I get used to my short hair but again this is really really nice for day or night so it might be that you're wearing a nice little black or navy dress for going out um, and you want to just give a little bit of glam that's great. Love it. It's not going to keep you too warm. It's more of a fashion accessory. Um, I've got a few of these, actually, that I've got over the years because I've always loved fur. A lot of them have got, like, little openings there where you thread it through. I've done that completely wrong way around because I'm looking at in the mirror rather than... 
Um, but yeah, I've always loved fake fur, always. So the fact that it's really, really in this season, I'm just embracing it. So this net keeps you nice and snuggly. I would never wear more than one item of fur. That's just my only tip. So I would never wear this and then one of those delays and then like my big fur coat. It's just too much. You just need a nice little touch. So while we're talking about nice snuggly things, the biggest love of mine this season, apart from wax coated jeans, are the fluffy jumpers and I'm trying to find, okay so here's one in like a silvery grey, again a colour I wouldn't normally wear but I'm trying to embrace new colours now I've dyed my hair blue black, it's kind of hard to get things to go but um, Primark obviously these are about six pounds, you just really can't go wrong. Um, and they are just so comfortable. They've got all sorts of colours. There's a baby pink one here and a grey. Um, and then I've also got, but I've left it in the lounge, um, a cardigan that's navy and it's massive and it's just, I think it was like a tenner. And it's just so, they're so snuggly. I'll bring it close and you can, hopefully the camera will focus. They're just adorable. They look so cute with jeans. They're just, I love them. So, next I will talk about the jeans, the wax jeans. So, um, I have I went through a phase in 2012 of wearing high, high-waisted, um, skinny denim jeans. I'll have some here, I'm sure. Yes. So they're inside out, but these are from New Look, and I find New Look to be the best fitted jeans out of any brand and I used to wear Miss 60 Diesel all the sort of designer style ones new look all the way these are about 16.99 they don't look great there the lighting's a bit poor oh there was a random feather um so really nice dark dark denim they're really really soft as you can see they're almost like jeggings they're just I love them however I was wearing them too much so like pretty much every other day for a year and I was getting bored so when I saw the wax coated ones in fact I have a pair on now from New Look these are the black ones which I have actually ruined I'll tell you about them in a moment I'm going to bring them closer can you see they have a slight sheen so they're the same fit as the others um, and these are like £20 which is nothing really however you need to wash them inside out so I was in a rush and I didn't read the instructions and I just put them in the wash and I noticed that most of the sheen had actually gone, which was disappointing. Um, so just make sure that you wash them inside out. So I loved them because I never normally wear black jeans. I think they're a bit meh, just a bit boring. Um, I've never found any that look amazing really, but the ones that have got this wax sheen on them just looks so like they make any outfit look really really dressed up even if you're not they look really smart I've worn them for like work meetings with little ankle heels and um I just love them then I found some from M&S and I pull that face because I don't really rate M&S uh food I adore but their clothes they they're either quite old-fashioned in my opinion or the ones that are gorgeous are overpriced however um, I found and I got two pairs some wax coated jeans there and they are I think they're 20 pounds or 20 they might not even be 20 pounds I remember them being really really cheap um, and I saw them on a mannequin and I thought wow they are gorgeous and they're almost like a leather look but they're really really soft you can see how soft they are I'll just bring them close for you so these are like a stone colour and hopefully you can see they just have like a gorgeous texture to them and they're actually labelled as ankle grazer jeggings um, so I was a bit concerned like I didn't want to get my ankles out in this weather 
um, for going out, yes, with heels, but I want to, I like things really, really long. I'm not that tall, but I like, I just think the look, it makes your whole body look longer if you have a longer leg in jeans. Um, so I made sure I got uh, the long. I got size 10 in a long, why is my camera not focusing? There you go. Um, and they fit perfectly. They're absolutely gorgeous. They're a bit, um, a little bit sort of high-waisted-ish. They're not um, target promoted as that though. But they're absolutely gorgeous. And the berry coloured shade. What? Cranberry these are called. These are my absolute favourite. And I have got so much wear out of these. They're just tight. But they feel comfortable. They're like a berry they look black there but they're not I'll bring my light in hang on Woo. that didn't really help um they're just gorgeous and you can wear all the other colors that are in fashion with these so if you to buy anything I'd go for this berry cranberry shade this dark it goes with you can wear berry on berry which is nice all the nudes and the minks go really really nicely with it um, denim, black, like you could literally wear anything with them. The baby pink as well, really nice complementary colours. So, to say I haven't done a video in about 18 months and um, I haven't planned, I can tell that I'm rambling on a little bit. But hopefully it's given you an insight into like the key things that I'm loving this season. So it's like fur, the fluffy, I don't know what these are called but all this sort of silly fluffy cardigans, uh, the wax jeans, absolutely adore them. And so many amazing jackets in Primark that are £10 and under that just update any outfit you can wear, any plain jumper and vest with jeggings or jeans, and then throw on a smart jacket and you're done. So I'd love to hear what you're loving this season. That's just my... Um, I've just got distracted by leather skirts. <laughs> I'm loving leather skirts too. Grey leather skirt in the sale in Dorothy Perkins, which was £5, and a Primark special, which was about £7 or £8 as well. So these are great with long boots and a bit of fur as well. So yeah, it's the, the leather and the fur I'm loving this season. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'm going to go and have a drink, and not an alcoholic drink, and go and plan a little bit better for my next one. It's going to be all about um, beauty and Christmas makeup. Bye.